Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? So, y'all, I end up getting that song by Percy Sledge. You really got a hold on me here. All right, so you really, really, really got a hold on somebody here, okay? You really got a hold on me, really got a hold, oh, you really got a hold on me, yeah, so you got a hold on this person, baby, this person ain't trying to turn you loose, turn it loose, oh, baby, they like, turn it who loose, not the collective, okay, yeah, this person look at you as nurturing, the queen of cups. Yeah, you nurture this person. Why are you nurture this person back to health? You nurture this person back to health. You was there for me when I was ailing. <laughs> no, nah, for real though, collector. Y'all could have been there for this person when he was going through something. Okay, literally when he was really going through something here. Okay, Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles here. All right. And he could have been trying to gain control maybe over his financial life here. Okay. It says concerns over your self-worth. So he could have been dealing with self-worth. He could have been dealing with um, finances, financial issues here. All right. And you were like very nurturing here. You was here for him. The queen of cups is somebody that's the perfect wife, loving mother, nurturing, kind, sympathetic, all right, very positive. You speak life into people, and that's how you were with this man here. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. This person finds you as beautiful too. This person feel like he gotta defend you or defend himself. What is this emperor and this nine of wands? Why do he feel like he needs to protect? He could be dealing with the uh, fatal attraction. Okay. He could be dealing with a fatal attraction here. There's somebody maybe he had a one night stand with. They don't want to turn him loose. <laughs> don't want to let him go here. All right. Could be upset that. Um, he walked away, all right, or don't want, you know, didn't want anything like long term or something like that. And, you know, this is somebody here that could be upset at the fact that this man ended something or walked away. And yeah, this person could, it could be like a thin line between love and hate situation here. He could be dealing with here or like a fatal attraction, y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he walked away. He walked through y'all. Some for some of y'all, this man walked away from you to protect you from a fatal attraction. Okay. Yeah. He didn't want to cut you off, but he felt like it was protecting you here. Okay. He was going through something. So, yeah, some of you all, it was financial. And others of you all, he was going through something. It's like he had to defend himself because it says pre prepare for an assault. Keep resources in reserve. You will be surrounded by trouble. Okay. It says you will feel emotionally and physically tired from the constant conflict and setbacks in your life. So that's what was going on with this emperor right here. And maybe he didn't tell you everything that was going on here, but that's what was going on in his life. And it's like he glad at the fact that you was there as a friend, but far as a relationship at the time, I feel like he was going through too much. Okay. Cause you got bottom, bottom and out here. Your home life may, may be disrupted. So his home life could have been disrupted because he was going through something financially. Not only was he going through something financially, he was dealing with a fatal attraction. Somebody that he cut off and all that kind of stuff here that felt heartbroken. Okay. And rejected. Okay. Yeah. But he was protecting you here. This is somebody here that want to defend you. Maybe he, he could have things together now or he's getting things together now. He wanted, he feel like he want to come in before it's a missed opportunity. Okay. He do want to make some type of fast action after something had took a while for him to balance out in his life. 
He was dealing with a whole lot that he, he didn't want you to be involved in here with this moon. But he is wanting to take action here. Okay, he laid a lot of things to rest and rejected a lot of people here. For some of y'all, he was even dealing with depression, y'all, for all of the chaos that he was dealing with. Because it says you feel emotionally and physically tired from the constant conflict and setbacks in your life. So he could have been having constant setbacks and dealing with things here. Okay, on top of the feminists or a particular feminine or feminist that got mad because he cut them off. And then they got mad and, and started trying to stop him and harass him and stuff like that. Okay. But yeah, y'all, he, I definitely feel like he had to get to himself here. Okay. And he had to like get peace, restore balance in his life and get peace in his life here. Okay. So he could have hear how he really felt and like what he really wanted for you. Because if he would have said, you know what? I look at you as my wife. I am deeply in love with you. God told me that you are my divine feminine. Okay. You are who I'm meant to be with, but I can't be with you right now. You're going to be like, what? what you? So you just told me all that poured your heart out for you to tell me you can't be with me. He didn't want to do that. So he felt like the best thing to do was to kind of put a little distance with y'all. So he could deal with these things that was going on in his life. Because if he knew he had a crazy, a crazy person in his life, in his energy, he didn't want this person to try to do nothing to you. You hear me? So he felt like if he stayed away for a little while, he can balance this situation out. And then also he can work on his finances here. Okay. Yeah. But that, so he do know that you're his empress here, but just know that he was dealing with a fatal attraction y'all. Okay. Now, I don't know if some of you all knew that's what was going on or this is confirmation. Okay. But you got to hold on this person. All right. And this man ain't letting you go here. All right, he's moving in silence. Okay, maybe, you know what? I feel like you were the queen of cups when you all first met. And maybe he was dealing with somebody that was a queen of pentacles that had money. But just because a person got money, dressed nice, got a big old house, nice car, and all that kind of stuff, that does not mean that that's the best option. Because whoever this woman is that was coming up as this queen of pentacles that had money was crazy. And maybe she hid her crazy behind her money or something like that. And maybe all you had at the time was love to give. And maybe you didn't have the finances. And maybe, you know, he dealt with this particular energy and whatever here. But he didn't, he wasn't in love with this energy and was not planning on building anything with this energy. But this person got mad. You see what I'm saying? Because sometimes people feel like just because they got the money, the finances that, they they everything. What he don't want me? He don't want me. And I got this big old house. I got all this. I got all that. And you don't want me. You want dusty over there? You want the broke such and such over there? Like what they got to do with anything, baby? Cause clearly by this person being a fatal attraction, none of that matter. Money matters. That don't mean nothing when you're trying to slice and dice somebody's ties. Follow them. Sit outside their house. Pulling up at, at the person workplace and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Got people uh uh following this man and stuff like that. You up you you could have cheaters following this man and you ain't even with this man. He done told you he don't even want you. And but you you up here telling cheaters that, oh my husband, my boyfriend up there, can you follow got people up there following this man here? Up here just doing some crazy stuff, y'all. I'm telling you, this this woman here was nuts. It was a karmic person here that was nuts and felt like because she was the queen of pentacles that she was the, the, the best option or the one or he was just supposed to be with her like that because she got money. You see what I'm saying? He left her alone and baby, she didn't like that. Maybe it, it hurt her ego because she do got a lot of money and all this wealth and material things. So maybe she felt bad. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. It bruised her ego. But baby, he was dealing with a crazy, I'm telling you. All right. But he has freed himself from whatever it is that he had going on here. Okay. And with this seven of swords here. All right. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, y'all, I'm back. 
So yeah, this man right here, he freed himself here, okay, from this situation here. And it's like right now, he's just moving in silence here, okay? But this man look at you here, okay, as a wife here, all right? And he look at you as somebody he want to build a family with here, all right? And he, I feel like he regret, you know what I'm saying, not giving you a commitment in the first place because he feel like he could have avoided some of the certain the things situations that he put himself in here this is somebody here that want to give you equal give give and take now especially now that he's gaining control over his uh financial life here okay yeah somebody could have been doing some type of manipulation okay this person people could have been in competition with you for this man all right or this was just somebody doing something underhandedly so this man can choose them is what I'm getting as well. This is this was a karmic soulmate that this emperor was dealing with that now he got to defend himself from. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody here that uh could have been doing something maybe because of money. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Page of Swords here. This is this karmic soulmate definitely illegally watches this emperor here. Okay. Or like try to keep tabs on him. This is somebody that's very upset. Like trying to see who he getting ready to build with. What he's doing. Who he's doing it with. What he got going on. So that's why he feel like he got to move in silence. Your person could have been off social media for a while. He might not have posted a whole lot. Maybe not even his location for a very long time. Because he was dealing with a nutcase. Okay. Yeah, he was dealing with a karmic. And this person also could know about you and was watching you and, and had people watching you as well. Okay. Yeah, knew about your whereabouts. This person could have found out where you worked at, where you stay at, and all that kind of stuff. And could have had, I told y'all, because I picked up on cheaters and whatever. You could contact cheaters and tell them. That your spouse and whatever is cheating. All right. I don't know if you got to give them confirmation. If you got to show them something, a picture or something like that. I don't know how none of that works. But intuitively, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that she has somebody following you and this man to keep tabs on y'all or something like that here. And and it may not have been cheaters, but that's kind of like I'm getting. Because, you know, when you watch Cheetah show, they follow the person around everywhere to see what he doing and who he with and that's kind of like what i'm getting that a karmic person did to y'all she had people following this man and she had people following you to see was y'all linking up together okay what you was doing and all of that kind of stuff here this was somebody that was spying and maybe paid somebody to spy okay but you definitely have it to where this person like i said has freed themselves from this person here. And now maybe balance could be restored, you know, in, you know, this masculine life now. Okay. And it's like now he's at a point to where he can give you equal give and take care. You got this temperance energy. So the temperance is all about gaining control and balance over your life because it has a, a achieving balance and control over your own life here. All right. One who works well with others and have good management skills here. So your person could be a boss. He could have his own company or he can run a company here. He can have uh, his finances, like I said, could, could definitely be good here now because it's showing where he definitely has gained control over his financial life here. And he has gained control over his life overall here. So it's like now he's ready to come in and build something with you now. Okay. Yeah. these here Alright, give me 
get some messages from this deck here, Spirit. Finding myself. It says, it was time I went within to find myself again. I need to figure out what I want out of life and I need space. So if your person said that he needed some space, all right, it was true. It wasn't because he was just messing with someone else, y'all. This man was going through something. I'm telling you, this is somebody here that had a whole lot of stuff going on in his life. He was trying to find himself again. He was trying to get balanced in his own life. And he was trying to figure out what it is that he truly want and get things together. And I feel like his life was just chaotic and all out of balance here. And he needed space to find himself and to figure out what he want and to get things in order here. Okay, so if he told you, look, I need a little space right now, and maybe he didn't go into details, I'm not getting that he he left you to go to somebody else. Not for whoever reading this is for. This is somebody here that had a whole lot going on in his life here. Okay, and he had to find himself and figure things out on what he truly wanted here. Okay. So if your masculine say, you know, I need some time, I need a little space, okay, give him that. All right, give him that because he's he he definitely was going through something or he is dealing with something here, okay? And I said it like that because you all could be on um like two different timelines here. Some of you all could have um just went into separation with your person. And some of you all already been in separation with your person and he done figured out what he wants. Some of you all, he's in this energy now to where he's trying to figure out what he wants and he needs space. So just take it how it resonates for you here. Okay. But this person finds you to be special. Okay. He look at you as somebody that's very divine here. All right. He's never felt energy like yours here. Okay, so you have very beautiful energy here. And he loved being around your energy. And I feel like even in separation, he can feel your energy around him. Okay. But this person felt like he wasn't able to give you what you truly deserved at the time here. Okay. And he felt like it wasn't fair to drag you down with him while he was going through something. You know what I'm saying? But it's like he just can't get enough of your divine energy here. But he feels your energy around him. Even when y'all not around each other, he always feel your energy here. Okay. He could be crying or he did cry. It says, when I think about you, I cry. It's because this is somebody here that's longing for you. Miss being around your energy. This is somebody here, I'm telling you, that could cry themselves to sleep. Or they can catch themselves thinking about you and they shed a little tear and, and wipe it away real quick. You know what I'm saying? It's because he's missing you. And it's like, man, I just, I got to get things together in my life first. And I know this woman, it, it's, it's kind of like I'm getting, uh, but when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad now that I want to leave. She's crying a heart to me. How could you let, how could you let this be? I just need time to see where I want to be, where I want to be. Yeah, and then y'all know at the end, he said, I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, so it's like, I'm sorry. But for right now, I cannot be the man that you need right now. If you give me a little while, you know, I could be the man you need. If you give me some time, I can be the man you need. This is this is how he felt. If you give me some time, I could be the man you need. Okay? I got a whole lot of lust inside of me. He could have had lustful ways, but I feel like this man was going through something. And maybe his lustful ways is what got him into this fatal attraction situation. Because in that song, he said that I got a lot of lust inside of me. Yeah. So he could have had to heal that. Okay? And maybe that was a lesson for him. Man, bro, if I wasn't in this energy, I would have never had this crazy nut. So, yeah. You got obsessed. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. Stalk your socials and hope I run into you when I'm out. So, your person is obsessed with you, baby. 
So I'm telling you, if, if you feel like this person said that he needed space because he wanted to go deal with somebody else, no. He was dealing with something here. Okay. This man is obsessed with you. It's a good obsession. He think about you all the time. He watching your social media. But some of y'all, he hoping that he just bump into you one day. You know what I'm saying? But he think about you all the time here, y'all. Okay, so if you wondering, like, you know, why we, why he needs space and why he want to be away from me, that, you know, just know that he think about you a lot. Okay? Let's see. you got mission together we are an unstoppable force y'all i'm hearing i'm a movement by myself but i'm a force when we're together baby i'm good all by myself but baby girl you make me better you make me better you make this person better okay he said he a movement by himself but i'm a force when we together yeah that's what he said so y'all are unstoppable. Y'all are unstoppable force here, okay? And, to and together y'all got a mission that y'all need to do in this lifetime. So it was meant for you all to be together here, okay? God got y'all together for a mission, all right? It says, we have a purpose together and I am determined to live it out with you. This, per this is somebody here that know that y'all got a purpose together and he know that it was destined for y'all to be together. And it's a reason why God put you two together. It was something that you all had to do in this lifetime and only you all could do it together. It wasn't meant for you all to do it separately. It wasn't meant for you to do it. You couldn't do it by yourself and he couldn't do it by himself. It was meant for you all to do something together. Okay, God put you all together to do something for a mission. I'm telling you, and y'all are an unstoppable force. Okay, now what this mission is, I don't know, because it could be different for all of y'all. But God put y'all together for a reason, and this person know that y'all have a purpose together here. Okay, and he know that it couldn't have been done without y'all being together here. Okay. He know that it was a higher purpose for this connection. He knows it now. Okay. It says we are just perfect together. This man feel like y'all perfect together, baby. You hear me? He feel like y'all are very compatible in every way. Your money, your love, uh, uh, the, the intimacy, the play, for, like whatever. Like he just feel like y'all are the perfect match and y'all just mesh well perfectly. You know what I'm saying? It, he feel like, baby, when you was born, God had already said, like, look, little baby, you're going to be with such and such right here. Okay? Like, that's how he feel. Like, he feel like when y'all were born, like, it was just written. It was destined. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it says we can overcome any obstacles if we work as a team. Didn't I say God put y'all together to do something, y'all? Okay? I don't know if y'all was meant to fight crime together, okay, help other couples, all right, motivate other couples, but it was something that y'all was meant to do together, and only you two could do it together. You wouldn't be able to do whatever this is separately. God had to bring you all together to do whatever this is, okay? Yeah, and it says y'all can overcome anything here, okay, and y'all both, you know, gonna work as a team, all right? Let's see. I ain't going to really go deep into details on what that mission is because it could be different for all of you all. Okay. But you got mine. All right. I want to take the honor, honoring path towards you. So basically, this is like him taking the divine path. All right. And then this man is riding a motorcycle here. So this is letting me know he want to come fast towards you, baby. Okay, he ready to he ready to go ahead and 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 uh work together on this mission. That's what he ready to do. Okay, that's what he ready to do, work on this mission. What God called y'all out to do together. Cause he know now what this mission is. He know now what it is. Yeah. It says, so I am taking responsibility for my situation first. I am coming forward to tell you how I feel. 
I know I have what it takes to make you mine, and I am ready for our new beginning. Baby! This man ready for a new beginning. He said he know he have what it takes to make you his. This man and already claimed, this man can already be telling people that he could be telling people that uh he in a relationship, or if he ain't just telling people that he married and engaged, he's telling people that he's off the market, okay? Like he's he's in a relationship. Okay, he could be telling people like, look, this this my woman. If he, baby, if he got a picture of you, he could be showing people pictures of you like this is this this my girlfriend, uh, this my fiance. <laughs> this her right here. And and they like, oh, she's pretty. No, it dang well they want them. Oh, well, okay then. Like, yeah, yeah, we're in, we're in love. <laughs> we're in love. We're happy. Yeah, she makes me happy. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot. I don't know who person this is, honey. But it's like he gets excited telling people that he's in a relationship here. Okay, because I don't I don't feel like he really just done that before. Okay. But he's already telling people that. All right. But he ready for y'all new beginning, honey. Okay. And yeah. He he coming forward to tell you how he feel. All right. But get ready for this new beginning, y'all. All right? But that is all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God love you and I do too.